We've got a little pack of cards here and we're going to basically do a little test of your sort of intuition. Okay. Uh, first of all, we're going to give the cards a quick shuffle. Now, with the cards, when they're shuffled uh, just normally, there's millions and millions of combinations that they can be in. And in fact, there's n like if you took every deck of cards in the world, there'd be no two decks in the same order. That's how many possible combinations there are for every wow, pack. Wow, really? But we're going to make it even more random than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut about halfway and then we're going to turn some of the cards face up and some of the cards face down. Okay. And then when you mix those in together, which I'm going to have you do, so if we do the smooshing, smooshing. that you remembered from before. Do you shuffle cards like this at home now? No. <laughs> it takes, no, that's fair enough. Uh, do you want to smoosh those together? And then the amount of combinations that become possible now is just absolutely you know, beyond sort of comprehension because you've got cards face up, you've got some cards face down. That's perfect, we'll square them all up for you like this. That is the only thing with smooshing, they take ages to square back yeah, exactly. up. But I think that's about it. Done. Uh, we, can also, uh, we can also take some cards and turn them over like this and you can sort of mix them around a bit like that. If you want to, I just want you to be sure that they're completely mashed up and totally mixed up. You're completely happy with that? Yeah? Yep. Excellent. All right. That's perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to just worry uh, not about the sort of numbers or the values of the cards. It's just the colours that we're going to be interested in. Okay. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to take out a couple of marker cards just so that we don't get confused a bit later on. So we'll have uh, the aces are always good. So we'll have the ace of spades and uh, we'll have the ace of diamonds. So we've got uh, one red ace and one black ace. Okay. Now here's the intuition part. What I'd like you to do is take hold of the deck of cards, just as if you were gonna play cards and start dealing them out. But if you think a card, if it's face down, if you feel that it might be black, deal it face down here. If you feel that it might be red, deal it face down here, and then we'll have a look at the end. If the cards face up, obviously you can put it on the right pile, but it's the face down ones we're interested in. Okay. So what do you think, just off the top of your head, do you think they might be red or black? I don't know, red. Just, deal, just deal it anyway, just, but deal it face down and we'll check them out at the end. That's it. Do you want it on top of here? Yeah, yeah, anywhere near there is fine. And just keep going. Like I say, when you come to the face up ones, you, you know to place those in the right pile, but the face down cards you can place wherever you think they are. <laughs> things I'm you, rubbish at stuff you, like this. You don't seem to have very much uh, confidence in your intuition, but I think you might do quite well. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> What I should have is some jokes. In uh, about half an the, hour, uh, I'll do this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we don't have to do them all. We can just go through and uh, do a handful of cards, if you like. That's it. It's all happening now. <laughs> are you thinking about the face down ones, or are you just going with the flow? No, I'm thinking about them. You are, okay. Yeah. So if, if we turn out to have a reasonable number of these correct, you can claim that your intuition is responsible. Maybe. It's not just chance, you're not just dealing them all, you're not following a pattern. You're I not... don't know. No? I'm just going with the Do you want me flow. to stop talking so you can concentrate on what you're doing? Is that what's going on? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> thought I thought it might be. Whatever happens, happens. Everything happens for a reason, remember? Apparently so. I'm, I'm not thoroughly convinced by that, but uh, that's what people tell me. All right, let's stop there for now. Let's stop there for now. Let's get rid of those. So, so far, this is what we have. Um, obviously, all the black cards here are right and all the red ones here are right, but it's the face down cards that we're interested in. Yeah. Okay. How many of these would have to be right for you to be impressed and, and for you to believe that your own intuition was very good? Quite a few. Quite a few. I don't know. Over half? Maybe. Uh, if you grab these cards, as, grab your cards as well, turn them over and place them here, and then spread them out towards you. If they're all black, your intuition is amazing, yeah? And if these ones are all red? Shut up. There you go, ah! so there it is. Proof that women's what intuition exists, hell? How and it is something happen? amazing. Uh, I can tell you uh, that that would be, no, that's just a lie, I can't what? tell you. What? Thank you very much, I'll straighten them out later.